really hard to do. Uh, takes a lot of focus, you know, you know, sticking together. A lot of things happen, especially through game, three days, no practice. Just going out there and playing, you know, you just have to remember your principles and stuff like that and just try to execute. Welcome to the Daily's Newsroom. I'm Taylor Soper. And I'm Seamus Labrum. And we're here to talk to you guys about the Pac-12 tournament down in Los Angeles at the Staples Center. Uh, Oregon State beat Washington State earlier today, uh, which means that the Huskies will face Oregon State tomorrow tomorrow at 12.10 p.m. Uh, Taylor, can you tell us a little bit about Oregon State and their history with Washington this season? Sure. Uh, the Huskies have beat Wash or, sorry, Oregon State both times this season. They crushed them at home in December, and they narrowly squeaked by uh, last month in Corvallis, 75-72. Um, you know, I, personally, I think the Huskies shouldn't have too much of a problem getting past the Beavers. Um, the Beavers have Jared Cunningham, who is the all, he's a member of the All Pac-12 team, and also the All Pac-12 defensive team. So he's definitely a star, and he's definitely a guy that they're going to need to contain. Um, and the Beavers also have a 2-3 zone defense that can be kind of difficult for the Huskies to get by. But they have C.J. Wilcox and Terrence Ross and all the three-point shooters, so shouldn't be much of a problem. And I really don't see uh, the Beavers causing too many problems for the Huskies. So Seamus, tell us about how the Huskies have done at the Pac-12. I guess it was a Pac-10 tournament back then, or I guess last year. Um, tell us how they've done the tournament. Obviously, they've done pretty well. Uh, yeah, the Huskies have. Uh, they have the second best record in Pac-12 tournament history, actually. Um, mm -hmm. They're 16 and 10. They've won two straight Pac-12 tournaments in the last two years. Right. And most recently, last year, with Isaiah Thomas and his cold-blooded shot at the end of the game against Arizona to win the t that tournament and send the Huskies to the NCAA tournament. Right, right. Well, I mean, like everybody else, you know, I just remember, you know, Isaiah, the thing when he shot me. You know, I, was, I remember I was in the living room with my mom and my dad and you know, jumping up and down when he hit that shot. They're guided by Lorenzo Romar, who has a fantastic record in the tournament. He's 13-5 and five and trails only Arizona's Lute Olsen right. and UCLA's Walt Hazard in win percentage. He's a great coach and a great person. He just always wants to help on and off the court. He just, you know, and, and, I'm, and I'll, I'm always learning. You know, I, I do whatever he says. I know what he's saying. It's going to be the best for the team. So he's just a great, a great coach. Uh, but the Huskies don't have Isaiah Thomas this year. So, Taylor, can you tell us a little bit about what, it, what the Huskies do have this year? Yeah, you know, they might not have Mr. Cold Blooded, but they do have guys like Terrence Ross, CJ Wilcox, and Tony Rowan who can put the ball in the hoop pretty easily. And they're pretty hot right now. They've won 10 of 12. They did lose to UCLA uh, last Saturday in their season finale, but they still came away Pac-12 regular season conference champions uh, thanks to Cal losing the day after. And so, you know, they're really confident, and as Romar teams usually do, um, they're getting better as the season progresses, and they're playing their best basketball of the season. So without Isaiah Thomas, yeah, but they definitely have enough uh, weapons on offense and defense to carry them to the tournament. So Seamus, yeah, as you mentioned, no Isaiah Thomas to hit that cold blooded shot again this year. But do you think the Huskies can come away and you know string together another three straight wins and win up another Pac-12 tournament this year? So although they don't have Isaiah Thomas, I feel that this Husky team is just that, more of a team. Um, their their potential to make a deep run in the tournament is pretty high. Uh, they have two potential first round NBA first round draft picks in Terrence Ross and. Tony Roden, right. who is also the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. Right. Not to mention, uh, they have C.J. Wilcox, a deep three-point threat, uh, who comes off the bench to score 13 points per game. Right. Also, their center, Aziz Enjai, is a seven-footer, and he's improved vastly from last year, um, garnering all Pac-12 defensive honors this year. Mm -hmm. So you think that? So you're saying that they're gonna? You think they can go all the way again? I think so. I think they have uh, the, the this team is primed uh, to make a third straight Pac-12 tournament championship. Yeah. What do you think, Taylor? I think I mean I agree with you, Seamus. I think that they definitely have the weapons to do it. I think they can go all the way and do it again. But there are other couple teams in the Pac-12 that um, could pose a lot of problems for the Huskies, like the Oregon Ducks. Uh, the Ducks are winners of six of seven. Their only loss came to Cal, and they lost by three in Berkeley. And we all know the Huskies. What happened to them last month in Eugene? They exactly. got. Horrible loss. Yeah, they got their butt whooped by over 20 points. So um, the Ducks can really contend with anyone in the league. And another team to watch out for would be UCLA. I mean, they didn't seem like that great of a team this season, but they picked it up at the end. They crushed Washington State, and then they beat the Huskies on Saturday, which was pretty surprising. 
So those are two teams to watch out for. I think really any team in any any team in this league could beat anyone at this at this time of the year. But in the end, I do agree with you. I think the Huskies there are going to go away, go all the way, and win their third straight Pac-12 tournament. Um, I mean, we're glad we're number one seed, but every game's just important as another one. Doesn't matter who we play; it's going to be a tough game, and I don't think. I mean, any team can beat any team in this tournament, so I don't think the number one seed is that big of a deal. But I feel like with the teams that we match up with, it's going to be you know, tough to lead the way. And so again, tomorrow, 12, 10 p.m. on FSN, the Huskies will take on the Beavers, um, and we'll see if the, Huskies can, if the Huskies can go for their third straight Pac-12 tournament win. For Taylor, I'm Seamus. Thanks for watching.